Well, I've arrived at uh, my campsite for the night and the heavens have opened. But it'll pass over and uh, the, uh, the shop uh, that you register at is just across from the campsite. The campsite is called uh, High Lannings. Is it High Lannings? Something like that. And uh, they sell nice produce in there, so I got myself a meat and potato pie. So it might be prudent to have that now. But look, brighter sky up there. Yeah, it's wet, isn't it? Oh. You might not be able to see this, but it is wet. Only the roughy tufty bikers out camping here. Nobody else. Right, I've arrived at my site. Pouring down. Absolutely belting it down. Just easing off now. And what about this for a rainbow? Look at this, look at this. Is that a rainbow or what? Hi guys, so this is a high laning campsite in Dent and the camp field is uh, basically that. It does spread out uh, in two different directions. Uh, I might as well just show you now. Fairly uh, basic site, um, just what you'd expect, and that, that's the uh, that's basically the site. Not much more to say about it. Just a decent little uh, toilet block. Um, got the picnic benches there, and actually um, the site is a bit boggy in places, but we're in. Uh, Right about the 8th of October, something like that, so I don't expect much else. And it did rain fairly heavily uh, over the last sort of 24 hours. Um, but I've managed to get a pitch where it's uh, it's reasonable enough. It's just a case you just have to find your pitch, don't you? So yeah, it's uh, High Laning Farm and it's High Laning Campsite. Dent Village is uh, like a step back in time and I'll show you some of Dent Village later on. Uh, it's got a couple of pubs, although during this COVID period, one of them is temporarily closed. Um, yeah, all in all, it's a lovely place. I mean, I know the place here, been here lots of times, but never camped here. Um, just across the road and associated with the uh, uh, farm is the Heritage Centre, which is uh, also a cafe. Uh, and I'm just about to have a breakfast there, but it's... Uh, very interesting because it's got lots of agricultural and uh, I suppose local history type stuff in. Um, so we'll just have a little look through and you can see. Well, it's, it's quite a lot bigger than I was expecting, yeah, the Heritage Centre, and I'm not going to go all the way through it, but uh, it's well worth a visit if you're, um, if you're coming up this way uh, to Dent. And they have absolutely fabulous meat and potato pies. I had one last night for my tea, and it's one of the best meat and potato pies I've had. Uh, they like the gravy, it was beautiful. Uh, they're made in Grange, a uh, company called Higgins, well, butchers called Higg Higginson's. That's Grange of Sands in Cumbria. So, yeah, you want to get yourself here, it's, uh, it's brilliant.
Hi guys, so currently uh, just leaving uh, High Laning Farm campsite in Dent and uh, weather's beautiful this morning. Um, I've had a couple of nights here, first time I've been to the campsite. Uh, it was a bit expensive I think for what it is, although the area is you know, outstandingly beautiful. Uh, I paid £12 per night for a motorcycle solo one tent. Um, and uh, whilst the facilities are uh, the toilet block behind, the facilities are uh, you know clean. Uh, they're uh, they're very good. Uh, I think in uh, busy periods, uh, the one shower will be a bit of a problem. So whilst it has ladies and it has gents and uh, it has wash-up areas, um, it would appear it just has the one shower. So I mean at the moment it's not too bad that because there's what, maybe a dozen campers on here uh, but in summer one shower is going to be a nightmare getting showered uh, and I think for £12 a night um, I think that's quite expensive um, for the facilities that they're providing um, but you know just to give you a little view round um, there's a nice cafe uh, and uh, visitor centre across the road which is uh, I think owned by the same people um, it's a lovely field uh, this is uh, now in October and it is a bit boggy but this is you know what you can start to expect with um, camping at this time of year and uh, one quite good feature is that uh, where the tents seem to mostly pitch which is behind me here just near the entrance they've got a like a gazebo with a couple of picnic tables in uh, if you can see that yeah so that's that's quite good so you can get in there to eat your food or to shelter you know if it's raining because it does rain a lot up here um, you're not allowed to cook in there uh, you're just allowed to shelter uh, but it's still good and uh, the uh, the views from the campsite are, oh, are really good I, I'll just have a little walk further on the campsite it's not a big one and uh, but it's big enough that I know that it'll get busy in summer and uh, in summer this will be uh, having one shower that's a big negative for me um, yeah I just I haven't been anywhere this year uh, even on more basic sites that haven't had more than one shower so that's one shower for ladies and gents so anyway this is the, the site and the surrounding hills so it's a lovely lovely place Dent village is like a step back in time uh, there's a couple of good pubs here although one's not open at the moment with Covid uh, but I uh, had something to eat and drink uh, last night and a drink the night before and it was really good uh, obviously everybody's having to manage with these uh, Covid restrictions but they're managing it quite well and uh, yeah all in all it's a it's a lovely area nice site in my opinion just my opinion though too expensive and I would not come here in summer uh, I'll never come here in summer because I know that it'll be very busy and one shower one shower for everybody ain't gonna cut the mustard uh, so well that's your site it's a very nice picturesque site Dent village it's in Cumbria but in the, still in the Yorkshire Dales National Park uh, and it's uh, fantastic riding around here. I come up here a lot anyway, riding, but I've never camped here. Uh, and as I say, it's nice, but I wouldn't camp here again. Uh, there's a couple of campsites. There's one at the other end of the village, which I've never been to, but I'll have a look at sometime. And I found another one, a very basic site, uh, which is basically just a field next to a river, which I will come to when uh, weather permits or COVID permits. Um, but that looks an interesting one and that has uh, uh, a shower and a toilet uh, very basic but it's just a field but it is a beautiful location right next to the river um, what more can I say about it really lovely place Dent there's many uh, bike rallies come here so there's a lot of bike rallies come here uh, it seems to be a very popular destination for rallies and uh, I can the reason is that there's fantastic riding around here uh, but in my opinion, one, to one shower, 
12 pound a night for one person one motorcycle and tent is too expensive the other thing probably to touch on is that uh, now, that might seem a bit unfair, but the lady here is uh, that owns the site, or at least manages it, or runs it. Um, to be honest, what can I say? I suppose it's a bit of Yorkshireness in her, really, but she's a bit abrupt. And uh, certainly, when I arrived here, there was nobody here, bar two, uh, sorry, three motorcyclists. And it was very wet, so I picked a dry patch because there was nobody else here. The field was completely empty. Anyway, as it turns out, uh, it's where camper vans and caravans pitch. And uh, to be honest, she, <laughs> I think she was a bit miffed about that. But I mean, the rest of the field, the rest of the field as you've seen in the video, is as it was. So it's pretty, em it's it's pretty empty really. Um, anyway, she she did insist on parking vans right next to me. Uh, she was quite uh, firm with people in the vans as to where they could park and what they should do, which is to her side, it's fair enough. Um, but I don't know, I just, uh, I just didn't think, uh, I just didn't think she was overly uh, friendly really. Um, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. But the main thing is, uh, I just think 12 quid's too expensive for one, for a toilet block with one shower for everybody. So that's where we're at, uh, High Laning Farm. And uh, I say they've got a really good uh, visitor centre and uh, cafe. Uh, I had uh, like a bacon, sausage, and egg bun yesterday, and that was brilliant. So the cafe's just there. Uh, really nice lady manages that. Uh, it's a, a heritage centre actually, so you get to see. Uh, how life was in the Dales and in Dent area, uh, and it's Dentdale this is called, uh, the, the Dale itself is called Dentdale. Uh, you get to see what goes on, uh, or what went on, uh, going back uh, into maybe a hundred years, maybe more. So yeah, interesting. Blast, uh, blast from the past when you walk through the village, and uh, I certainly recommend coming here, but I just can't recommend the site, unfortunately, for the reasons I've outlined. But it was alright. So. Thanks a lot for watching.